All right, in this video, we're going to start looking at some examples related to the integral test. So in part A here, um, we've got the series from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the n. And again, we're just going to figure out whether these series converge or diverge. So um, certainly different ways to do this one other than the integral test. But uh, again, just so we can talk about it using the integral test. So if you think about the function 1 over 3 to the x, that's the same thing as, well, 1 over 3 all raised to the x. And recall an exponential function. Um, y equals 1 over 3 to the x would look, uh, you know, like our uh, the graph I have here. So certainly we can use the integral test on this because it's continuous, it's positive, and it is decreasing. So this is certainly a, a, a problem that we can use the integral test on. So we've got the series from 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the n. Uh, correspondingly, I'm going to think about the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the x dx. And then I'm going to uh, decide whether this improper integral converges or diverges. So I'm going to replace my infinity with a t. We'll do the limit as t goes to infinity. Um, the 3 to the x, I'm going to bring that upstairs and make it 3 to the negative x. So when we integrate this, again, you could just do a u substitution, let u equal negative x. After we do our u substitution, we'll get 3 to the negative x. Uh, we'll have to divide by the coefficient. We'll end up getting a negative 1. And recall for exponentials, you also have to divide by the natural logarithm of the base. So from 1 to t. So here we've got the limit as t goes to infinity. Um, so let's see, I'm just going to pull the negative out front. So there's my minus sign. Um, let's see, we would have 1 over, so we would have 3 to the x, but that would turn into a t times the natural logarithm of 3. Minus, we would have 1 over... So we would have 3 to the first when we put it uh, back in the denominator, the 3 to the negative x, again, times ln of 3. The only thing I'm really interested in is whether this is a convergent or divergent improper integral. Well, you know, 1 over 3 times ln of 3, this is definitely some finite number, so no problem there. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking about is what happens with the limit. Well, as t goes to infinity, 3 to the t would get very, very, very large. So then we would have 1 over a very, very big number. Well, 1 over a big number goes to 0. So we've got 0 minus some finite number. This uh, improper integral is definitely going to equal some finite number. And that tells us it's convergent. And then so also, since the improper integral is convergent, we can also immediately conclude that uh, the series from 1 to infinity of 1, to 1 over 3 to the n is also convergent. Again, you know, probably the easiest way to justify this one, just to point it out real quick in case uh, maybe you didn't think about it. Again, this is just a geometric series as well, 1 over 3 raised to the n. So certainly you can recognize it as being a geometric series, um, which is what I would do and say it converges because the r values between negative 1 and 1, um, and then I would be off to the next problem. But again, just to talk about it, just to illustrate the use of the, uh, the integral test here.